The Indian External Affairs Minister, Dr. S. J. Shankar, was in Mexico. Um, he had meetings with uh, his counterparts and the leadership. Uh, he was part of the Independence Day celebrations as well. With me is the Mexican envoy to talk about this relationship, which has seen a lot of visits as well, a lot of engagements as well. Uh, sir, welcome to Vyond. My first question about uh, the visit. How do you see this important visit? An Indian External Affairs Minister, Foreign Minister, visiting your country after a gap of for almost 40 years. That is correct. Well, it was a very important visit, and we're very happy that uh, Minister Jashanka was able to come to Mexico. As you correctly said, we had uh, a very special celebration this, this year because we were commemorating three significant events in Mexican history, which was the foundation of the Aztec capital 700 years ago, the foundation of Mexico City 500 years ago, and the, cons and the end of the War of Independence 200 years ago. So it was a you know, particular uh, time, and we were very happy that he was able to, uh, to come to Mexico. Uh, and while he was there, he met with the president of Mexico, had a, a good conversation with the president, also had a, a long conversation with the foreign minister, Mr. Marcelo Ebrard, uh, about you know, a wide range of issues of the, of the bilateral agenda. Uh, he also met with the business community. The Indian, Chamber, Indian Mexico Chamber of Commerce organized a meeting for him uh, with, with the business community in, in Mexico. And uh, he also went to the, uh, we had, there's a monument to Mahatma Gandhi in Mexico City that he went to, to present his respects. So it was, you know, overall a very well-rounded visit, which culminated with a visit to the archaeological site of Teotihuacan, which is an old ancient uh, city uh, just in the outskirts of Mexico City, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So we're very happy that he, that, that he was there. I think that what's very important is that this uh, visit signals a, the, you know, the, the, the commitment that Minister Jai Shankar has shown to enhance the relationship with Mexico and with Latin America in general. So this is a very good first step. Mm -hmm. uh, so what next in the relationship? How do you see the relationship going forward? The engagements uh, now happening, uh, there are, of course, uh, more e engagements lined up uh, in the future as well. That is correct. Well, one of the things that we want to do, of course, is to uh, recover sort of, sort of, sort of the, the lost space and lost time because of the pandemic in the past uh, two years. We need to recover, for example, the trade relationship that was very optimal up until uh, just before the pandemic. As you probably know, we had become the first trading partner of India in Latin America, the second in the Americas only after the United States, and India had become the ninth largest trading partner of Mexico in the world. There's also significant uh, uh, investments in both, uh, in both directions. Mexico is the first Latin American investor in India, for example. So we need to you know, build up, you know, recuperate the momentum that was, uh, uh, that was uh, lost a little bit because of the pandemic. Uh, that is one thing. Secondly, I think the political uh, conversation or the dialogue that exists between both countries uh, is very good. I think that you know the visit of Minister Jai Shankar is a good proof of that. There's a possibility that maybe my foreign minister will come to India in the not so distant future to continue the conversation that uh, that that was started. Uh, I mean, not that was started, but that that took also place in Mexico, and uh, and take it and take it from there. And of course, we hope that uh, as we were working on on some of these aspects before the pandemic struck, that we will have other high-level visits of of of, of different aspects, including business delegations from India to Mexico and from Mexico to India. Mm -hmm. But um, largely, how do you characterize this relationship, uh, uh, a relationship that has seen increased engagement? Uh, and there are a lot of similarities uh, uh, between the two countries. In fact, uh, people of the two countries almost look similar sometimes. That is true. There's enormous similarities uh, that, that exist between Me Mexico and India, and there's a great deal of identity in many in many aspects. Uh, I mean, we do tend to uh, uh, look alike in, in, in many regards, but also there's certain aspects, you know, like our, our cuisines, which are, even though they're not the same, there's some similarities, especially in the spiciness mm -hmm. uh, in, in both cases. Many cultural identities, you know, cultural exchanges that go back a few centuries uh, that, that are there and that have only, you know, taken hold in a much firmer way in the, uh, in the past decades. So all of that is, is, is certainly happening. And we're working together with India in a number of, uh, of, of forums, especially in multilateral fora, 
uh, where we work together with India, and we have a good level of exchanges. As you know, as as you know, we're now both uh, non-permanent members of the Security Council. So we have an ongoing conversation in terms of uh, our priorities uh, for the global agenda and how best to work together to, uh, to address the, the, the present challenges that we have in the global agenda. We're also working with India in the, uh, because India is going to be holding the uh, chairmanship of the G20 in 2023. Uh, so all of that is is is, uh, is taking place. It's an evolving situation. There's always an, uh, a constant engagement that we have, and that uh, of course gives richness and variety to the relationship that we have. Mm-hmm. Um, that was coming on the multilateral aspect of the relationship. You pointed out to UNSC. You pointed out to um, other multilateral organization. G20 is one grouping that where both Mexico and India are present. Uh, what kind of conversations are happening on multilateral organization, particularly on the COVID crisis, uh, which is something that has impacted the world? Uh, any suggestions being given by Mexico when it comes to the COVID crisis and how to deal with it uh, uh, on this uh, on this issue, particularly at the G20? Yeah, this is this certainly, uh, you know, it's a very important point because we are working together, not only with India, but the other members of the G20 in addressing certain issues that, that, that are very urgent. One of them is, you know, the, the recovery, the development recovery after the pandemic, which has affected all of us, rich and poor, in in different fashion, but it nevertheless it has had an impact in our uh, our economic uh, performance. Uh, but secondly, and more importantly, one of the things that we're dealing now, and Mexico has an initiative that we have presented to the G20 already, and will be addressed when the G20 meets in a summit in Rome at the end of the month of October, which is that the there should be no discrimination in the recognition and acceptance of vaccines uh, by any country around the world. In other words that all the vaccines that have been uh, certified by the World Health Organization should be uh, given equal acceptance by all the, all the members, all the, all the countries in the world, so that we avoid situations that uh, you know, a, a, a country will not allow certain people to come in if they, if they have a vaccine that maybe they, don't, you know, they think is not uh, you know, uh, good enough or whatever, whatever reasons they, they may have. So this is something very, very important. Mexico is working very hard in this regard. And of course, this is something that is also of a special interest to India because India, I mean, not, not only uh, uh, you know, has, uh, you know, uh, has vaccinated a large part of its population with its, with its own India-made uh, vaccines, but also the whole question of whether you know, vaccines that are made elsewhere will, will come to India and you know, that type of thing. So it's very important that we have a, uh, a global agreement that is, uh, uh, that is equitable uh, for, for, the, for the acceptance of the vaccines. Well, thank you so much, sir, for speaking to Vion. So, um, the Mexican envoy speaking to Vion on many issues, whether it's the visit of the EM to um, his country, the COVID crisis, and how both countries are engaging at various multilateral organizations, whether uh, it is the G20 or, of course, the United Nations Security Council. With video journalist uh, Chandrasekhar Sidhan Sibyl for Vion in New Delhi.